Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine, reporting to you from an olive grove at Fresno State. Today, Fresno State's Center of Irrigation Technology held a workshop on improving water use efficiency in an orchard. And here's Guillermo Valenzuela to discuss his current field trials at the Fresno State olive groves and improving water use efficiency. I'm here to explain basically what we're doing here at the olive sites. It's a 20-acre site in Fresno State campus by Chestnut and, and Bullard. Um, this is the reservoir right here. We have a pump and we have a system installed called drop control which basically takes control over the pump and monitors the flow meter. So the first year we installed a pump actuation, f f uh, meter flow and one soil moisture sensor and a weather station. So we were getting a, a complete picture of the whole hydraulics and the farm. Whatever rain got in, whatever irrigation got in, whatever weather took and how the water moved inside the soil. With that we started making irrigation decisions and basically dropping the water use but changing the frequency so that's using a little bit less water or sometimes some months a little bit more, no more than 10% or 5% more than the year before but by changing the frequency or how you give the water to the plants we're getting very good results. This looks like we're gonna probably double the production last year which was a horrible year for olives so we will get the same production as 2013 I hope uh, and but with the same amount of water we used in 2014 14 so that was basically half so so that would be a good a good reduction and keeping the trees this way by using about 40 or 45 percent of ET right now it's a, it's a good accomplishment just by controlling and monitoring the frequency of irrigation this year we installed a second soil moisture sensor because we have two soil types in the 20 acres so we're looking at saturation in, a, in some in a spot where we're where we're having heavy drainage in the other so we're comparing that and the next stage of the project is to include um, variable rate irrigation basically by soil type so we will irrigate the heavy soil and the lighter soil with different durations and different frequencies. Today soil moisture monitoring is a pretty uh, popular technology but it's just like most of the growers are I, I was in, an, uh, in a workshop and I asked how many of you have soil moisture sensors and everybody raised their hands how many have them online maybe half of them and then how many use them for irrigation decisions just one or two uh, in the complete room so basically right now it's like you're buying a, an instrument, but people don't know how to use it yet. So what we're trying to, to, to accomplish is to, to, to uh, train the users, learn them, uh, teach them a methodology on how the sensors have to be used, and then trying to uh, drive them into the automation and the control. Because in other countries, in, other, in Peru, in Chile, we're doing control over pumps, hundreds of pumps and it's 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 the next step when you can't manage what you don't monitor you can't be efficient with what you don't control so so that's the next stage learn how to use your soil moisture sensors and then move into the next phase would be automation and combining data thank you Guillermo learn more about these research trials and how to improve your water use efficiency by reading California Fresh Fruit magazine I'm Matthew Malcolm CaliforniaAgnet.com